So because it's Blue Stocking Week, I thought that I would tell my stocking story. I had was just about to finish my PhD uh, in creative writing at um, QUT. I was looking for work around in a, in a quite competitive and very difficult um, industry. So I decided that I would go and get some careers counselling advice. I'd reached the point where actually I had an interview coming up, so I wanted to talk about how to, how to, how to act in the interview. And the piece of advice that she gave me that I remember very clearly was that she said to me, at the job interview, you should wear stockings. <laughs> Which amused me because I don't think that she would have said that to uh, the male candidate <laughs> who had approached her. I, I, and actually, as it turned out, I had a Skype interview, so I could have worn <laughs> I could have worn absolutely nothing on my bottom half, and it would have made no difference. <laughs> uh, that's just an example, I think, of perhaps some of the. Uh, subtle discrimination that women might experience in the academic workforce. I think that as a woman it's important to know yourself really well and to know that there is, or certainly for me, often this tendency to want to, um, you know, put your hand up for everything and to actually have difficulty saying no. And to some extent it's a balance between being able to be committed to say my style of knowing my style of, of teaching which is actually quite nurturing and supportive and being prepared to give in that aspect but also being able to identify what really isn't aligned with my own values and, and goals and learning how to say no. I'm still learning that actually so maybe someone else can help me there. <laughs>